building immediately. Let's hurry, Sam. We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left. All right, people, let's get the stage set up. Celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, right. The crew's working on Moira. Stupid no talent fat face. Weren't you just... I think she just defied the laws of physics. Sorry, you'd be amazed how many times a day I have to do that. Things tend to be hectic here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. I knew you guys were right for the show. Speaking of which, could you perhaps explain the show a bit? Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboys, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. My Uncle Ernie did that, except it was pigs. And not in an apartment. I only see one cow. It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? Okay. You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no-cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. I begin to see from whence the hilarity sprouts. Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of sight gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Great. Where's the script? Well, there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so you're going to have to ad-lib the show. Ad-lib? Yes, make it up as you go. Improvise. Well, I guess our regular life has given us plenty of practice. Don't worry, you'll be working with Philo Pennyworth, who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor, classically trained. Globe Theater and all that. Just set him up to do something funny and he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script, and it's really important to work it in, because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of you will have to save the line. Me, me, pick me! All right, Max, your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. I like it already. We're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Let's start taping the show. Okay, now remember, your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! They probably had it a cow. Open up in there. I know you're hiding Let a there cow. Be light. Hey! Goodness, who left this lying here? Open up! Open up in there. I know you're hiding a cow. There we go. Life of the party. Aha! I know you got a... Well, well, well! Who's your guest, boys? This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck <laughs> and frog's And Rosling. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a French chef, eh? I love French bread and French fries. I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know? It was back in my army day, army day. <laughs> Say, what's this? He said moo ham. It's a French dish the chef has just made. Oh, super! I'll try some of that. Where's the plate? I can't help but feel this is all terribly warm, so... Aha! Hmm, interesting. That's one way for it. Hmm, there's a familiar flavor. Fennel, maybe? Kentucky bluegrass, I think. <laughs> this moo moo whatever stuff is really good. Uh, what's it called in English? Cow pie. <laughs> really? Well, that's funny. It sounds just like. <laughs> Serious 
Dillon. So is Hannah Paul. The network is going to love it. Naturally. I'll be in my dressing room refreshing my muse. Don't call me for at least an hour. Nice work, you guys. Here's a clip for your reel. Thanks. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. Welcome to Cooking Without Looking, the cooking show for the typical bachelor kitchen, containing no fruits, vegetables, or healthy ingredients of any sort. The show where we take a random assortment of condiments and barely edible items and create a meal within minutes. Filling in for Chuck Flagon this week, these guys. Just go with it. Oh, um, hello. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Sam. It's great to be here. Not you, Buckethead. The audience. Oh, greetings, worshipful fans. Remember, the only reason I'm on TV is because I'm better than you. We've got some furious cooking to do, so let's get right to it. What are we making, Sam? Today we're baking a cake. Let's visit our rack of ingredients and add flavoring to the flavoring pail. I'm pretty sure that's a pot, Sam. Max, let's leave the cooking to me and the eating to you. Can we say enough about roofing tile shards? Obviously, we can't. Now, do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And, through the magic of TV cooking show time, one gorgeous, delicious cake, ready to be binged upon or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us. how you can sing and be a judge. I don't think the public would swallow that. Hey, Sam, do my eyes deceive me, or are those our formerly hypnotized former child star acquaintances, the soda poppers? Sweet jellyfish paste on a stick, you're right. What are the odds? Could we find another judge? What about one of those guys? Hmm, I don't suppose either of you would be interested in being a judge on Embarrassing Idol, the hot new show where we make uncomfortable entertainment out of people's misplaced faith in their own singing ability. Oh, me, me! I promise I'll be completely unbiased in my abuse of the contestants. Fine, fine. Take a seat. Goody! I get to sing! Welcome back to Embarrassing Idol. The judges are chomping at the bit, so say hello to our first contestant, Peepers. <clears throat> Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Well, that was a bit sloppy, but I particularly liked how you hit that high note. That always impresses me. I think you'll get my vote. I'm definitely voting for you. After all, you are my brother. Very impressive. You sound almost exactly like a sick cat being dragged through rusty farm machinery. But this is a singing contest, so I think I'll have to vote for someone else. Um, is there anyone else? Not so far. Yay! Can I look at these? Sure, take them. I've got them memorized. Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Very impressive. <laughs> 